Life could be a dream. Life could be a dream. Life could be a dream. And I'm here to tell you the fun facts for today. Did you know that the first footprints on the moon will remain there for a million years? The next fun fact is that the White House in Washington, D.C. has 132 rooms, including 35 bathrooms. The last fun fact is that the coldest temperature ever recorded occurred in Antarctica which was negative 144 Fahrenheit. I hope you guys found these fun facts interesting and I'll see you later. Bye. Hello Rams and welcome back to the Rams Morning Show. I'm your host Yasir Jones and let's get into it. As you know, we end school on June 15th, which is actually 13 days away. These last 13 days, we have to stay motivated so we don't give up yet. Let's go over some things to look forward to as the school year starts to end. Number one, the Ram Jam. The Ram Jam will be hosted on June 2nd from 12 p.m. to 1.30 p.m. There will be breakout rooms full of games. This is literally the best way to end the school year. In addition, there will be prizes. So if you want a game, you may just get a homework pass or a warm up pass. I'll be hosting Family Feud, so I hope to see you all there so we can see who's really the best player. Number two, as Prince George's County's COVID cases have drastically decreased, pools will be open this summer. So go outside and splash around with your family and friends. Number three, summer camps will be open this year in the Prince George's County area. Prince George's County ensures a safe and memorable summer. All right, Rams, let's hop into DIY with Jada. My name is Jada Savage. Welcome back to the DIY segment. Today, we'll be making a small pouch. To make this craft, you'll need a cloth circle and a needle and thread. Let's get started. To make this craft, you need to take your cloth circle and your needle and do a zigzag motion all the way around the circle. It's going to start to look like this. And then you're going to go all the way around. When you reach there, it's going to look something like this. And when you have it, you're going to leave two little strings. And now you can place something in the middle, just like coins and other things. And you're going to pull the string. And there's your little pouch. I hope you guys enjoy this craft, and I'll see you later. Bye! Club nine, I couldn't even tell you what's going down. Hey! Hey! time with Yassir. Rams, as you all know, it's been a long time since I brought back Talk Time with Yassir, and I've really missed this segment, so let's talk about some things. Today's topic is reflection. This year, we've gone through a lot. We've gone through an entire pandemic. We've gone through being at home, being bored, having animals drive us crazy, having siblings crying all the time. I understand. However, as the school year is coming to an end, we can now relax. You've worked so hard this year. You can now enjoy your summer, take a break. But with that comes reflection. This means thinking about the things that made you laugh so hard in class, thinking about the funny moments, the sad moments, the bad moments, the happy moments, the exciting moments. Think about those times. And while we're thinking about these things, we also can think about how we even messed up. We all make mistakes and that's okay. Now, as we're walking into this new school year, we can now be more disciplined and we can also be more mature. We can think about the things that we can improve on next year. We may say, I'm gonna take some more time to study in reading class or in math class or in science class. So when next year comes, you're much better than what you were before. So you can do this with a notebook. I actually have a notebook with me right here. I don't have a pencil, but you get the point. You can just go on here, write down the good things, the bad things, how you can improve, what you're gonna do next time, and just all of those things. I'm just so mad because I don't have a pencil or a pen right now. <laughs> Found one! You can write down reflection. Let me write down reflection real quick. Reflection! Can you all see? Oh no, it's too bright, but it says reflection! <laughs> On a serious note, with reflection, it comes gratitude. This means being thankful for the things that did happen this year. For example, I'm thankful that I get the chance to talk to you all every Monday and every Friday. It's been an amazing journey. That's something I'm thankful for. All right, Rams, I hope you all took this advice and be that boss. 
My name is Sheeta Savage. Welcome back to the Funny Friday Show. Today, I don't have a topic, but let me tell you some jokes. So, what do you call a can opener that doesn't work? A can't opener. <laughs> Next one. What do you call a fake noodle? An impasta. <laughs> Last one. What kind of tea is hard to swallow? Reality. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy these jokes and I'll see you later. Bye. Bye.